Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to our ongoing quest to try and find all of the new missions, and most importantly, to finally find my hat. So with that, today, our main goal really is to try and do all of these missions, and the story missions, in addition to any missions we see, of course, which are ones I've never seen before, because apparently, to get the Reticule Research uh, Corporation, what you need to do is go ahead and do all of the different story missions, things like this one over here, things like Crafty Mike, although I think Crafty Mike might not be included there, just all of the named ones with all of the characters, at least that's what I've read, and honestly we need to do them anyway, so even if I'm wrong, it doesn't really matter since we do need to level up things anyway. So to begin with, let's go ahead and do this mission, and look, I've even added some Hawkeye weapons just so we blend in a little bit better for this one mission, and because honestly, those cannons in the previous video were just getting right on my nerves. What is going on with that tech there, the little one? Well, the headpiece is gone now, and look at that damage. Absolutely lovely. So these are the auto cannons from Hawkeye, and as you can see, they turn a lot faster than the regular cannons I was using before from Venture. And the overall damage output is insane, although they don't have any splash damage. Also, things with shields is going to be a little bit on the annoying side. There we go. A lovely start. It won't be long as well until I start making more permanent techs, since we are now collecting lots and lots of stuff, I say while ignoring stuff on the floor there. Hello there, Sergeant Smash. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I do like this tech, though. It's so easy to use. Well, look what the cat dragged in. HQ sent me a weak string of blocks. Why are they all so mean to me? One day, one of them will just be kind. Show me you don't mess everything up and knock out that turret, okay? Well, I wouldn't say love, but I have a passing affection for you, if that helps. Oh, is it that one over there? I thought it was the one over... Hmm. Why is that one? Oh, that is a turret! Okay, I thought it was something else. Oh, it's adorable, though. Let's use our shotguns. Hello. Fine, I'll use my normal guns. There we go! Shotgun death. Everyone is happy. I do need to add shields to this. Pretty much everyone agreed I should. Ooh, the big mortars. I like them. I like them a lot. Ooh, yeah, the new wrap armor. Well, it's not new. Actually, it's pretty old now. I just don't use it enough. So it's new because I ignore it. We have one minute to find the obvious chest over there. I mean, the chest, which is well hidden and nowhere in sight. Hello. Give me something useful. Ooh, you gave me loads of things useful, actually. I was surprised by that. Got the small fuel tank, but we also got the small rotor, which I really want. Okay, lovely. I wonder what level of better future before we start getting all the stuff like the hover balancer and all those kind of things, because that's when better future gets really useful. It's better, in fact, for the future. Oh, that was a lot bigger than I expected. Hello. However, auto cannons <laughs> really mess things up. Oh, yeah, I like these things. Yeah, need two shields. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so if I move you three, what I can do is... I just realized I've put the fuel tank right at the front of this craft. <laughs> Lathrix smart. Lathrix do smart things. Ta-da! Actually, that's big enough probably to cover the entire craft. How about if I put that a bit further back, like there? Well, we won't resist explosives very well or anything with a good area of effect, but that's going to completely protect us against light arms fire, so... Sure, let's go with that. Just pop down a small repair bubble. A pigeon just flew into my window. Why would you do this? It'll also be nice when I have the better future things to turn shields off. Since I'm not using solar panels, keeping myself charged up is actually a bit of a nuisance. At least now that bug's gone away, so I can actually charge up everything correctly. Dink, dink. Oh yeah, I forgot autocannons can't fire all the way back now, can they? At one point they could. Or could they? My mind is not here today. More so than usual. All the big techs out today. The boss. Which makes me the hero. <laughs> that was kind of brutal. This bit's constantly flying off him. Bit of leg there, bit of arm. It's okay. He keeps on fighting till the end. It is but a scratch after all. Ooh, my shields are really low right now. 
And my shields won't save power. Yeah, probably because I've got a huge shield draining it all. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the mobile refinery. <laughs> and by finery, I meant to say furnace. Wow, can I say one word correct today? Just one. Or settle for one. Hello again, Sergeant Smash. How you doing, bud? Give you a tough job, blah, blah, blah. Trying to mess up like I always... I've... You've sent me on one mission and I have succeeded. That's a 100% success rate. Is it just kill Tex? Oh, yeah, I love that mission. Nice and easy. Just go out and destroy things. First of all... Oh, I can already see the chest over there. That was nice and easy. I've also added a second gyroscope to this thing and it's made it way better to drive. Deals with those small jumps better. Uh, nothing too interesting that time. I mean, the little hover's kind of cool. Wheel? Are you okay? Are you getting flashbacks? Okay, let's go away. And there we are, finishing off one of Venture's missions. I actually thought this was a story mission, but it wasn't. Uh, it turns out I couldn't cancel it purely because it has deformed the terrain and made its own little section of terrain here. Ooh. Got some wheels, got some avalanche launcher. Okay, this is one of my favourite missile launchers in the game. It's just really rapid fire missiles. Okay, you're going to be something I'm probably going to use. And we also got the dual auto cannons. Are you stronger than the Hawkeye variant? In fact, can I put two of you on the front? Oh, I can. Okay, note to Okay, I think I just destroyed one of the things here. But note to self... Might want to use these. Fits the whole Venture theme. Okay, so the Venture dual auto cannons can turn at least as fast as the regular. And we can have way more of them on the craft. And the damage seems comparable. I'm not noticing any weaker shots. Yeah, definitely using them rather than the Hawkeye one. Actually, the hitbox is surprisingly small. You can actually place these next to each other. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Here's my plan then. I was originally going to make a Geocorp tech as my first main tech, but instead, I think we're going to stick with Venture. What I want is a couple more monster wheels, not the Titans, and a couple more of these. Then I'm going to build my first permanent tech. What I want is one tech from each corporation, and I think we're going to stick with Venture just because I've had loads of fun with this thing. Why did Lathrix choose to go through the ice field rather than the desert? Because Lathrix is apparently a masochist. Hello, little guy. Oh, was I spin? There we go. You know what? I'm not even going to get your corpse. I'm just going to roll on out of here. Very awkwardly. Oh, really happy I have two gyroscopes on this thing now so it doesn't keep on diving. So I managed to get two more monster wheels, which is fantastic. So now all I need is some more weapons, and then we can build the first true venture craft, the finalised version, which will use some of this stuff so that we can collect all the logs and stuff a lot easier. Hopefully I'll be able to get a second um, furnace as well by then, which will be nice. Because right now we are running out of power so quickly because of the shield. The shield's great and all. But it just drains our power. We need to get the um, the better future item to turn off shields when I'm not using them. Speaking of which, I'm now heading towards our next quest mission, our next story mission, to find Hubble. Finished off the Hawkeye mission, and what we get is... Ooh, one of the new batteries, that's good. Um, we'll just get one of the coloured blocks, that's fine. Fabricator, which I'll never use because of my own rules. Um, nothing too interesting again. One day I'll get my top hat and it'll be beautiful. Also, my earphones are currently cutting out, which is really weird. Murica, stop chasing me! It's over, Murica. I have the high ground. Sorry, Murica. Also, that was like the slowest kill ever. A little bit brutal, considering the name. Or I'm just going to completely redesign it because the old one is way too slow. Well, this is remarkably easy to just go forwards. Why did I even bother? 
Seriously, this one can spin really quickly and strafe and everything, and it's surprisingly balanced. It may look like a pile of rubbish, but it actually handles incredibly well. <gasps> oh my god. Well, now it just looks amazing. I'm just gonna bask in the glory of this for a moment, if that's okay. And it is okay, because it's my video. Look at a little button there. The real one has a Nurgle symbol instead. It's a Nurgle symbol badge. Now every craft must have it. Well, good to know it is definitely better future, which gives the Lathrix top hat. Uh, I'm still so proud about having this in this game. It's a very proud moment for me. Hello. But yeah, handles really well. So gonna just destroy that because it took two seconds to make. Now, where would the top hat even go here? Right now, it's going to go on the butt. And so, hey, something's so wrong about adding a top hat to a butt. But it has to go somewhere. Can it go on the backpack? No, it can't. Um, I don't want a butt top hat. Oh, there we go. Yee, that'll do. Hello there, Sergeant. I'm assuming it's destroy the fellows which are already attacking us. Also, if I can sneak up on you in this thing, then maybe you're just not very perceptive. Also, do you like my hat? Do you like my hat? Look. Hey, hey, hey. Sergeant. Hey, hey. Hat. Wow, calling me a mouth breather? That is a really not all that offensive insult, but an insult nonetheless. Ooh, that's a big boy, isn't it? Over there. Look at that fella. Are you a mech? Face burner. Oh, oh, face burner's being destroyed by little boy. Mondi 20, can you win? Nope. Face burner has, in fact, won. Ooh. Probably shouldn't get right up in its face, considering the name. Oh, and there goes his leg. <laughs> that looks so painful. Oh, I've got to charge up afterwards. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, my bad, my bad. I'm being dumb. Maybe I'm a mouth breather. Who knows? Excuse me, excuse me, just gonna move these things around a bit. Shotgun! Ooh, lots of stuff though. I expected, you know, flamers, to be honest, some flamethrowers, but no. Was it called Face Burner because of the boosty boosts it had? Well, lots of corpse parts, and from Hawkeye we get. Whoa, that looks really cool. Look at that! It's like a drunk sea. I like it. No, I really like that. Okay, so that's a really cool thing. Those are the blocks which I think every corporation has. There's the um, GSO one. There's the Geocorp one, which is massive. I, I don't even know when these were added. It's just some random new thing I didn't even realise was a new thing until I saw it. Um, yoink. So that's one more story mission done. Okay, so once again, it's going to be the whole go and destroy things mission. I like that mission, so sure. Now, what's the other one then? Destroy enemy army. Nope, I'll just leave that. Just do the missions we're currently doing. Any chance you've got any spare hats? No, we do, but not my kind of hat. Darn, still, still none of the weapons I want. Ooh, should we make an F1 racer at some point as well? Lots of things we need to do. Okay, let's go and do that one since I think I need to level up Better Future now before we get any more of the story missions. But first, I'm going to charge up over here. We really need more batteries on this thing. Okay, I'm being trying to be careful here, I should say. Just because, no, I want those lasers. Darn it, as soon as I say that. Come back here and let me hit you in the face. Blizz, face. I want your lasers. I think I broke some of its hovers as well, so it's a bit... Oh, yep, yeah, that is all over the place. Yeah, how am I meant to be careful? Oh, I hit its brain, but it's still going. That is a zombie. There's a future. Making zombies. Where's your other brain, then? There's your other brain. Did I at least get one of the lasers? Yes, I did. Fantastic. It's going to grab that, and then I'm going to kill you with it. 
<laughs> it's always good when you rip the arm off your enemy, then smack them around the face with it until they're dead. You know, just the usual Monday things. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, the sky anchor. That's actually really good, because that means we can add that to one of our ground techs, and then anchoring becomes way easier. So, yeah, I am using the sky anchor for ground techs. I do realize that is a bit silly, but still. If it works, it works. Yeah, really do need a new tech with more battery power. If we're going to use shields, we just don't have enough battery at all. I've got a change of plan. I've just realized Better Future gave me something really interesting earlier, and I didn't realize this. The Better Future Plasma Furnace Generator. What makes this different to all other generators? Well, it can burn any block type. So this is going in whatever craft we have next, because it means all we need is like basically that at the back, and then just any collector. So let's just go with the small one just to showcase, just that. And then if we use the Better Future Sky Anchor, just collect any block type, we anchor, and it'll burn them. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. Any chance you'll give me what I want? No? Okay, I'll go to another station. I'm just after better future stuff right now. I have been shooting this enemy for so long, it has like three repair bubbles all in the exact same spot, and it's just made of batteries. I could get closer to do more damage, but this is just amazing me, and of course the fact that I'm slowly sliding backwards because I'm on ice. Are those Megaton Cannons, which are thankfully not aiming at me? Can you please explode now? Well, that happened. Whoa, yeah, loads of Megaton Cannons, even after the explosion. Gunny over there looks a bit dead already, I think I'll just leave him. Stop having so many enemies, this is a, the next uh, story mission for Better Future, which means it's going to be another hover training thing. Which means I can't have any enemies nearby because my little hover can't fight back. I hate the ice. Woo, yeah, this does not do well nice at all. Valued customer, you're back! Yes, yes I am. Welcome to the second trial, we've been waiting for you to show up again. Do you want to purchase the hoverbird for a price of that's more than last time? Is it a new hoverbird? No, I'm gonna say no to that. You know what, this time I'm actually gonna use the hoverbird, let's see how this thing does. Oh, it's not as easy to control as my one, which is interesting. Make sure we don't oversteer, take our time. Yep, that was remarkably easy again once again. Again. Again! Now, could you please give me another hat? I would like a second hat. Double hat is better than one hat. Oh, Oops. So what do we get? We got the gravity magnifier engine. We got a little booster. We got hover power control. That's not the one I wanted, is it? Nope, I was thinking of the other one then. The hover power controller can't control shields, can it? Oh, though we did get the other one as well. There we go. The better future block controller. So with this, we can turn on and off our shields. That is a big deal, because now it means I'm not going to be running out of power every five seconds. It's going to be at least six seconds, maybe seven seconds at a stretch. Oh, boo, bad, bad, bad. Oh, really bad, really, really bad. Hello. I'm not trying to steer that much, by the way. That was just the ice making me kind of spin. Whoa, we just about survived that. Did I lose anything? Wow, we like had the perfect amount of power. Okay, so we're going to just move the hat for one second. Let's just put it on my button. Then all I can do is normal block at the bottom there. Make the correct Y, there we are. And then better future, and we'll add the controller switch. Very cool. Excellent. 
I realise now it kind of looks like a face in a really weird way, like a robo face. Kind of. A stretch. Ooh, bad, bad, bad. I really wish you could have manual aim with these weapons, because I could lead it then. Bye, have fun on the ice. Victory for cowardice. Making a more permanent version now of the VentureCraft. So that's the plasma furnace. Ooh, cool animation. Originally I was going to just block this completely off, but I do really like that. That is really cool to watch. Okay, never mind. You get to stay exposed at the back then. That's going to be a bit troublesome, but fine. So since I don't have the weapons I want, what I'm going to do is use four of the auto cannons from Hawkeye. So we have one, 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 two, one, two, and then just some small weapons underneath so enemies don't get stuck on us, and then just try and make it look nice like the original version of the monster truck wheel one. This tank is very fun. Wow, we can go really far away from that. Is that how far you can normally go? Oh, no, that's just about it. Okay. I've just realised this auto cannon I've just been placing is a little bit glitchy because it's counting these two blocks as not being there. But then if I put a normal block in their place, which I can't do right now because I'll break everything, it wasn't allowing it. For instance, if I put one there, nope, not allowed. Well, that is really weird. So here's the thing. Turns out I don't actually have all the blocks I want to make the back look how I wanted it to look, so it's going to look a bit basic on the top and the back right now, but other than that, I quite like it. And it is all about just pure damage, and once again, because it's monster wheels, it is very, very easy to control. Though I am tempted to have, add like a single hover plate, just because it is a bit heavy for these wheels. I have added a lot of stuff, especially this back stuff. So yeah, it's not quite complete yet, and there's two bugged blocks over there. As you can see, they can't be absorbed by the um, SCU. You can feed it to them directly, but these blocks just don't work. If I put it on somewhere, for instance, and I try to place something on it, you'll see... Oh, that didn't actually connect. I thought it did then, but no, as you can see, it doesn't actually connect. I still don't know what causes that, but at least now I know the way to fix it is just by throwing the blocks away. And yeah, I also want the other weapons, hence why these are just kind of placed like that. When I have the Venture ones, they'll look way better and way less out of place. But yeah, a little bit too heavy. Another thing I'm tempted to do is if we move the collector away, what we can do is have it connected to a filter, and then that way we can store the blocks rather than it constantly devouring them, even when I'm at full power. That's certainly something to consider for the future. Well, saying that, since it's not a mobile furnace like the uh, furnace generator I had earlier, it is kind of under control anyway. I don't know. We'll see. So it's a half-finished final design. At least you can see the basic idea I'm going with. currently just melting trees because it's just um well it's just habit but yeah it can melt any block type or melt my words are going away don't know where they're going but not here so i finally finished off the hawkeye mission and that's one of the rewards we got that's the flying fortress hover pad which is very powerful as you can see okay lovely let's just quickly collect all this stuff then we'll do the hover time trial. This isn't a um, story mission, though the Hawkeye one was. We're really close now to level 2 of Better Future. Just clearing the way. Okay, let's see if we can do this track without actually getting into a hover. I'm assuming no, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And yeah, I love controlling this thing. I do really like the monster wheels. They're a bit more floaty than the other wheels, but... Great ground clearance. Ooh, that is going to be annoying. Yeah, that's going to get my wheel stuck, isn't it? Unless I kind of jostle it. Come on, be jostled. Yes, there we go. Elegance and grace. Oof. Elegant as a swan. 
who is really drunk. Which I'm assuming is extra elegant. Come on. No, oh, Pizza Ninja, go away. Pizza Ninja is not something you should say sad. Uh, angry. Brad! Go away, Brad. I'm already having enough trouble with this. It's just not working at all. <laughs> oh my god. That was horrendous. Oh no, another one with slightly raised. Oh, if I just had slightly smaller wheels. Oh, it looks like we need to change over anyway. Position blocked? How? I'm going to give that another go, getting around to that last little bit. I'm going to show Pizza Ninja he was wrong about me. Note to self, thrusters make everything better. Ah, oh, they really do. Go away, Brad. If anyone's watching who's called Brad, you can stay. That Brad needs to go. There we are. Just need more speed. That's all. Speed answers everything. Speed and brute force. Oh, and there's another enemy on the track, isn't it? Something! Whoa, that took out all of my shields. Okay, now we need to swap. <laughs> it's like a tag team. Oh, no, no, no. I forgot this is th the Thunderbird is really difficult to control in comparison to my other hover. Yee! Oh, I made that so needlessly, stupidly difficult. There we go. I didn't even get a hat as a reward. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I am so dumb. The gingerbread man. There he is, catch and destroy him. Whee! Okay, you can fly, I can't. That's not fair, and you're not a gingerbread man, you're an ant. Oh, that was easier than expected. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Many rewards. Many, many rewards. Okay, got the gyroscope, got the wings. I really love the Better Future wings. I'm happy with that. I do not know what that is. That is wobbly, so I can't see what it is. What is it? Oh, it's that weird collector thing. You can, um, yeah, you can send resources up into the air for your uh, air bases and stuff. I think. Loads of new gyros. Ooh, the better future thrusters, yes. Oh no, that's the ion drive, even more yes. All the yes. Boing. Okay, let's go and do the next Sergeant Smash mission. And hopefully now we'll get some more of the better future missions as well, the story missions. Again, I don't know if I'm right with um, how I've been going about this. Do I need to do all these missions or not? But honestly, I just want to get them done because they're fun to do. Terratech has evolved so much since I first started playing it, like, what, three, four years ago, was it? Maybe less, maybe more, maybe. I've never played it at all. And this is all in my head. And you're all just listening to the raving lunatic words of a lunatic raving man. The target is well protected. Yeah, I can see them. They're right They're firing at us. Let me go. You are not a good sergeant. No offense. Look at my wheel. It's so willing to go. Move. Long range! <laughs> I agree with Lol over there. <laughs> well, that was dumb. Oh, where's my reward? There's my reward. What'd I get? I got a lazy thing, and I got a gunny boy. Ooh, a gunny boy. Cool. And I got a Zeus lazy thing. That's the lazy thing I said previously. And these, which are like angry lasers. Which I can't place down. There we go. You know, I never use this one. The aero props. This is like the small propeller from Hawkeye. You know what? I'm going to let all those armed guards live because of just how useless they were. They earned their survival. They're adorable derp. And let that be a lesson to you. Derp gets you places. Did not think you could still fire when you weren't connected to the ground. So you know what? You're now part of me. Well done. Gonna take this with me. Ah, it's so much weaker than the other guns. Actually, that could go there if I just. Huh. Oh, I do already have a gun there, but you know what? You can stay there for now, lad. Don't you dare salute me, soldier! I was not going to. 
though it'll poop you. <laughs> oh, it's becoming very light in my mind. It's becoming a little bit unhinged. Okay, so once again, it's just destroy everything because we are totally the good guys, right? Yep. Cull enemy techs. And we have another better future story mission, I think. Right, that's a story mission. Hover training novice again. Eventually, it's going to be complex, and I'm just going to be stuck there for days. Not in-game days. Days, days. Ooh, we can fly. Wow, that's imbalanced in, like, just the right way. Totally intentional. Melting down these green blobs here, which are worth so much, is kind of sad. The third trial and the better future hover training. Okay, so... Yeah, every time. Oh, I know. The first one was cheaper. It's just been the same after that. You know what? Sure, let's use Hoverbird again, shall we? <laughs> With the two little extra ears I've attached. Which make it more difficult to control, but faster. Okay, this one's a bit more like a normal race. Okay, I'm hearing combat music, which is really not something I want to hear right now. Oh, there's no time trial on this. I didn't even realise. Okay. So if I was just calm and sane. No, I swear, going calm makes things less stable for me. Insanity is the key. Woo! Style points. Give me another hat. Ooh. That's actually better than another hat. Fabricator. We get the... Ooh, the adjustment thruster is actually really good. And then some of the parts for the sky bases. Okay. Just gonna hop on over these trees. Do a twirly twirl. You can go away. Ah, we can get our first point towards getting the next tech kill. Hello. Good. Bye. Onwards. Graceful. Who? Yep, see? Perfect landing. Actually graceful. Hey, Hubble. Let me guess. Do I want to buy the thing? You've got a surprise for me. Hoverbird Mark 6. Wait, I don't actually have enough money for this. But it's the Mark 6. The other one's the Mark... I'm actually way too curious. Okay, I'm going to go around and kill some techs for some money, and then I'm going to be right back because I want to know what that is. I've only got the Hoverbird Mark 5. I need the new updated Hoverbird Mark 6. Feeling very capitalist consumer right now. So I have a Geocorp mission which is just destroy trees and it gives me a lot of money, so time to just destroy nature so that we can get the Thunderbird Mark VI. <laughs> that was very, very easy. Hello. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, a little cab. Goodbye. Ooh, new tracks. Well, not new tracks, but more of the XL tracks. Yeah, I do need to build a Geocorp tech soon. It'll be so easy. We have all the stuff for it. I like how with the gun's current position, once again, remember, I will be swapping these when I get the proper guns. Only three of them normally fire at any given time. Okay, then let's see what the new Thunderbird's like. I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be the exact thing. And... It's just... It's got lights. Lights and little wings. Why didn't the old one have little wings too? Let me just have to blow it. No, no, the little wing. No, yep, you got little wings at the cost of some of these. This is, uh... Yep, this is genius. I'm just gonna... Yep, this is worth it. That's worth it. Lots of changes there. Okay, let's go. Why the combat music every time this starts? It just makes me really, really nervous. Do the wings actually help at all in a hover like this? Ooh. Wow, that thing just really wants to spin out on your turn. Ah, stop, stop, stop. No, stop overcompensating, Latherix. You just end up spinning.
You finished the final trial in this set. Congratulations. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. I am. Are you proud of me, though? Apple? Ooh. Fly boys. A medium rotor as well. I need to build a, hel a helicopter soon. But I do like being on the ground more this time around. Last time I built way too many flyers. Okay, so that is that. Look at that tech in the background. It's half spawned in. It's kind of just doing a wheelie. There we go. Now I'm close enough for it to properly uh, spawn in with physics. It didn't live long, but it lived a happy and painful life. Can you just please st stop? Thank you. Any more Hubble missions, or do we need to level up first? Ooh, anti-gravity. Ooh, anti-gravity racetrack. Okay, then. That's the next of the story missions, I'm assuming. I right, does have the whole purchase one. You know what, then? What I'm probably going to do is just do some venture missions or something. Or some of the others for a while to get some money. Because it, we are going to want to buy this. Now, I can't actually cancel this anyway, so let's go and see how much it costs. For the anti-grav medoodle. Aw, oh, Hubble isn't even saying anything. Come on, Hubs. No? Woo, that's a lot. Uh, complete the track. Can I just use a flyer for this, though? Or, here's a question. Does the hover glitch still work? Because if it does, we could just, you can just say we could just use the hover glitch. The hover glitch is a potential thing. Now, how do you even do it? It's been so long. Isn't it like you have a hover medoodle and then you have the wheel face the hover doodle and because of that everything is broken in the world Ooh. I think that may actually be working there because that was forcing us down when it really shouldn't have been so if I do another one like there and make it so it's symmetrical then all of the powers will align, Cthulhu will be pleased and awaken. Or the hover glitch will work, one of the two. Like that, then that, then we use one of these, because I can't be bothered to balance it. Nope, we don't have any. Do we have no other stabilizers of the ones I'm already using over there? Okay, can you just fade away for a second, please? Goodbye. Oh, I actually did have some, I didn't notice it. Yep, I'm done. Oh yeah, we had loads. You, yes, I think this might be working. Okay, so I just need to change the controls. So it's on hover. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Oh, no, I have no control of just this many. You know what? Too bad. This, this is the tech of the gods. So to explain this glitch, it's a very old glitch. What's happening here is that this hover thinks that the ground is where the wheels are. This hover thinks the ground is where the wheels are. So they're both exerting force, which has all sorts of weird effects on the tech. So if I then press up, they both throw us up like a hover normally does, but with no maximum height. Okay, you know what? Let's actually make this a little bit more balanced because this is gonna give me a headache otherwise. <laughs> sure, it's more balanced, though it still turns way too fast and uncontrollably. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot how buggy this is. Who would have thought something called the hover bug would have been buggy? Oh, wait a second, wait. What if I went and put this down, like? Doesn't really do much because of the bug element, yet it's still incredibly unstable. Yeah, it doesn't stay still. Oh, hello. Nope, I don't need to purchase it. This will be absolutely fine. There is no glitchiness going on in here at all. Okay, so once again, no time limit, so just take it nice and slow. Totally not glitching this. Oh my god, controlling this is horrendous. I have made versions of this which are incredibly stable, but it takes a bit of effort and, you know, building time. And I am rapidly running out of time. Like, I have less than five minutes left before I really have to stop recording. I've been recording for like an hour longer than I thought I would today, just because it's been insanely fun. So I don't have time to build this properly. Oh, little enemy, please go away. Whee! Victory! Okay, let's just put something on here which will work at long range. With minimal effort. Like this! Missiles! I am the most overpowered tech. Which is weird, but it's kind of true. 
There we go. Ooh, one of the larger hovers. Cool, cool, cool. Mobile delivery cannon. Ooh. Since when did Better Future have a mobile delivery cannon? Oh, that looks awesome. Look at how it opens up. That looks so cool. Very cool. Lots of very cool stuff there. Ooh, and we got some of these as well. Some of the brackets. I need more of those because I keep on running out. Okay, so this will be our hover... You know what? We, we are actually going to build a proper hover glitch tech in the next episode of Stable Ow 1, which will do all these hovercraft... Um, sorry, all these anti-grav missions, because essentially, we are acting very similar to how an anti-grav tech works. It's just a bit more uh, glitchy, because, you know, the whole defying the game's logic thing. Okay, so... Ta-da! Back to what we were. Let's go and find ourselves some more missions. How do I keep on forgetting the... Wait, I did add a radar. Oh, I didn't save afterwards. That's what happened there. Okay. There we go. So with that, I'm afraid I really, really all... I am all out of time for today's video. As you can tell by me just completely tripping over my words there. I am all out of time for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly... Shows that I have just lost a wheel. Game. Why must you do this to me? I did have an extra monster wheel. Did really, I didn't. I do not like you. Hmm. Okay. So like I was saying... Likes and all that really help out because YouTube's algorithm hates me. So thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Do take care <laughs> of all the dumb things to do to end the video. And until next time, goodbye. Oh, come on! You deserve that.